Now, our Ebony here, young Ebony, has become <laughs> Ebony Rain for Brent MBE. That was announced this morning, which is brilliant. It's for her charity work, a lot of work she does for charity, not least with the ACE programme. There's not many black faces in cricket in general, really. The numbers are not coming through at the grassroots all the way through to the international. It's dropped by 75% over the last 20 years. I don't think young black British kids have enough role models in England to want to play cricket. How are you going to get into it? If you're not seeing it, why are you going to pick up the bat and play? It's important now more than ever, we come together to drive change. Now, Surrey have announced that their ACE programme designed to increase opportunities for the African Caribbean community is to become an independent charity. Partnership with Sport England who have invested over half a million pounds. And 25 young cricketers have been given scholarships by the ACE programme. It'll be good to see you play. Showing these black communities that cricket is a sport that you can play and you can be part of and it can be fun and it's part of our culture. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's an amazing initiative and hopefully we can play our part in getting as many kids to get involved in our sport. I'll get him, boy! You're not meant to say that, man! I found out through an email that I got this scholarship. I just jumped up, shouted, screamed all over the house. It's a talent ID programme, so hopefully we'll have them playing at the highest level. We've actually seen some players that have some potential. And one player in particular who's been seen by our academy performance managers is going to get opportunity to play for the under-18s. That wouldn't have happened without this programme. I definitely want to play for England, go down under and fight in the Ashes. I think that is the best part of cricket for me. I just want to be the best I can be. Go all the way. I want to push hard and work hard for it. Hopefully play for England one day and uh, yeah, represent our country. So they get every performance opportunity to make it. So we're going to start with the schools program, just going to school, you know what? Let's have some cricket. Uh, young people need role models in sports and need to see people who are doing it at the highest level. So it's great when people with that experience could come along and share their knowledge with the young people. Here we go, first ball! Yeah! There you go! There you go! As only three full-time head coaches in the history of county cricket have been of an African-Caribbean background. Okay, you have real good understanding. Kids do kind of look up to people who they look like and we need more black coaches. Just as importantly, can we help them off the field? Can we develop their personal skills, their character, everything? I think it's all a big package. We don't really need to know the reasons behind you being late. I'm personally not, not interested. I never had a female coach when I was growing up and that would have been really inspirational for me. We want to get more girls playing and enjoying and loving the game and realising what it can do for them. Great job, great job. One thing I hear a lot from other girls is that cricket's a boys sport and they don't know there's an opportunity for them to actually play women's cricket. Visibility is so important. You really can't be what you can't see. If I could see someone do that, of course I would think, oh, well, she can do it, I can do it. For other girls playing cricket, just focus on what you want, your goal, not what anyone else worries about. And that's what we're here for. We're just trying to create opportunities, change people's lives. Black is always there. It's about how you bring it out. If we come together and work together, we could see accelerated change. Well, it is quite literally an ace programme. It's fantastic. And you're also expanding all around the country, not least up to Birmingham. Yeah, we have. Stuart came here, the chief executive got started. You'd have seen Eton on the video, who's managing the programme. And they are getting a real moment. They, they last week, um, had a bit of an open day down at Handsworth, which is trying to get the community going. Ricardo Gordon, who played out there, is yeah. out bringing new talent through. So not only have we sort of gone in London, we're now here. We're looking at going to Bristol now. We just announced we're looking for a team. We've got full-time team in place. So within 12 to 18 months, we've just seen the programme yeah. grow like that. Just explain where ACE sits amongst the other programmes. So we did, were doing Dynamos cricket, weren't we, in the first test at Lords? So you've got Dynamos, ACE, Chance to Shine. How do they all sync up? Yeah, they really do. So th the other programmes are more about engaging wide groups into the game. What we're aware of is we need to make sure the talent gets out and into our structure. We all know how hard it is with facilities and stuff like that. So the academy piece, piece and the, the development hubs are about, right, once we identify those kids who love it, the ones who are showing a little bit of interest, can we just support those diverse bits of 
talent to get through and into the structure. So scholarships, mentoring, the works, academy programs. Um, and, and the goal is to link up with all of those programs to really help the games be stronger. And what about trying to get more girls involved? Is that a challenge? It's the biggest challenge, if why? I'm honest. We have, why? I think there's so many things. Girls' participation in sport anyway is hard, and you see around the teenage age, girls are dropping off. Then you add in layer, especially with targeting you know, young females, people of colour, black females, and it's not, cricket doesn't look like it's for them. And you saw in the video Davina, who's a young girl coming through, Sophia Dunkley, they are now being made more visible to young girls to say, you can, you know, someone that looks like you can come through. So we've got to do more work to reach out. So we're going into more schools, more communities, and make sure any girl that we find who has an interest, we really nurture them and give them all the love they need. You're very excited about that Davina. She is good. So she plays up here. She's 14. She's already on the Central Sparks Academy and is training with the senior side. Um, you know, we're just supporting her from a mental, uh, a mentoring perspective. But I tell you what, keep an eye on her. She's hungry. She's very talented. And it's been a joy to work with her and her family. Uh, There's a little feature the other day. She's brilliant. But is the goal just to get boys playing men's test cricket or girls playing women's test cricket like we're going to see next week at Bristol? Or is it just to get them involved in cricket, which could end up being on the sports massage side of it, or it could be on scoring, it could be on any physical development, whoever? Two parts. My number one goal is to see it out here. here. Yeah. The reason why I say that is for someone to make it here, there has to be a lot of things that have gone right. Um, so the, so the, the ultimate, I think, almost get the base going and the work. But I think what we have to do, that slogan which said empowering a new generation, we want to recreate the excitement, the energy for communities to come back into the game. So I think that's the number one priority for us is if we get the energy and the movement, we'll get the rest happening. Well done with Ace and congratulations on your MBE. Thank you. Brilliant. Brilliant.